Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to the Spinner Rack, issue 37. This week we're continuing our discussion about DC Comics animated features and the couple Marvels we might bring up. Yeah. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining me as always, my co-host. Junior Reeves, co-host of Comics Remixed. Comics Remix, the hub of everything we do, where you can always find anything. The Spinner Everything rack. we do. The Spinner Rack. The, the Lock, Lock Up Wrestling Podcast. Breaking it. the Fourth Wall. The Reviews and Collector's Corner, along that's with right. the Spotlight and Movies Remix. Awesome. We work it, man. That's, that's we work good it. stuff. Good stuff. I liked it right there. So like I said, we were discussing those DC animated features, mm-hmm. and sometimes the comic books that might have inspired them. And I left, we left off with Justice League Doom. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, you know, was a good movie overall. Was it as good as Tower of Babel? No. Superman versus the Elite. Did not see it. I was, I'm was. i the type of guy where I'm going to watch it, I want to buy it. You know, yeah. I want the collection. Right. Um, if I haven't bought them, I haven't seen them. The only one I watched that I didn't buy was the year one. I burned it. I should have bought it. It was good, man. But it's it's just I fell behind, you know. And yeah, no, I know. And I haven't had time to sit and be like, okay, which ones do I need? Which the last one I, I got were the Dark Knight ones. That was the last one. I waited out. for the the collector's yeah, edition. Yeah, I, I wish I would have too, but because I knew that they were coming out because they announced it before they released yeah, the totally. second version. No, totally. So I was like, I'll just wait for that. I don't have patience. And I paid like sixteen bucks for it. Yeah, t- right. You That's know? some shit. That's why I, I tried to talk the fiance. I'm like, let me go spend twenty bucks on this. She's like, you already got it right. I'm like, yeah, but you know, this is better. Nah. Not that sucked time. watching it that way. I mean, you uh, could tell, you could totally tell the break. And yeah. Her, no, totally. You know, so. Uh, so, yeah, Superman versus the Elite, man. I never read that storyline. Um, it was an okay storyline. So, I don't know what to compare it to. It is very much like Kingdom Come ish. Little. You know, a little bit. You've got heroes who are doing it their own way, a little rougher than Superman would like. And yeah. He's going to show them how his way is the right way. The elites remind me of the Ultimates, kind of. I can see that. You know, that, that they reminded me of that. So it's like Superman versus the Ultimates. Right. I, know, I can see it. Who the elites are. I, yeah, it's not one of my favorites. Superman versus the Elite, if I had to rank them, it might just be above Doomsday. Okay. Doomsday was pretty bad. I, I would say it's, yeah. Okay. It's right down there with Doomsday for me. Not one of my favorites. Did we skip any? No. Okay. Just checking. Because I know we didn't mention uh, I Green did. Lantern First Flight. I, we did. I did mention Green Lantern First, first did Flight. You? I said that it was like a, the, the that they were just chasing space scum and shitty dive bars. Oh, that's right. And then I wanted something more grandiose. Like, we totally know that. Okay. I didn't, I did not mention. The Emerald Knights. The Emerald Knights. I didn't even know that was released. Yeah, it was. I actually have it. It's not bad. It's like an anthology. Okay. It's a bunch of different stories, so it's not just you know Hal Jordan. It, it gotcha. Moves around a little bit. I liked it. It was it was good. I mean, I'm a Green Lantern fan though, so yeah. Um, Nathan Fillion, Green Lantern. Okay, we did talk about that. It's uh well. You're like he's becoming pretty. Yeah, he's Green well. Lantern. He did that, and then he's been Green Lantern since then. Yeah. And then that was uh, I liked uh, Arnold Vosloo, the guy that was the mummy. He also took over as Darkman in the Darkman series. You know who he is? Nah, it's not. You never saw The Mummy with Brendan Fraser? Years ago. He was The Mummy? I don't remember. Okay. Well, he did. He was pretty good, Ivan, sir. I can't remember who I've heard that's done Sinestro recently that was really good. But I don't think it was the first flight Sinestro. Ivan, sir. Ivan, sir. Yeah. He, that I, was he, the uh, the guy who gave Hal. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to say, what, isn't it Apocalypse his real name? Or it's something along that sounds very Something like today. that. Look, he's gonna bring I'm gonna have phone. to Google that, yo. He's like, I gotta Google that shit, baby. I could have sworn it was something like that. And I'm sure the listeners are, right now are probably be like, this is what his name yeah. was. Don't search it. I already right. know. But Green Lantern First Flight, you know, okay. Uh, the next one's Emerald Knights was far superior. And Sabaner. And Sabaner. That is yeah. close to Abin, sir. They could be cousins. Yeah. yeah, so that was the only one we really skipped over, which would, uh, after the Elite, the next one in line would be The Dark Knight Returns. I really liked it, except I thought the Joker came off kind of homosexual. Yeah, I could see that. Which I don't really felt when I read the comic, and I've read the comic a bunch of times, that I didn't really pick up a homosexual vibe off of the Joker. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. And then things were some were condensed some there too, but it was a pretty a pretty solid adaptation. I mean, they did do two movies. 
Yeah, that's yeah. Well, uh, you consider it one movie. That they just well, produced, yeah, you know, because they're dicks. Yeah, they want to make that money. It was I liked it, man. The Two Face and the Mutant Gang in the first part. It was awesome. Uh, of that Joker shit in the second part, man. The fight between him and the Joker, mm-hmm. in my opinion, animated, like, just blows away the Superman fight. Right. The Superman fight seems real short animated. I it's, thought that. It, it, I felt like it was more, it was longer and more dramatic and more played out in the, in the graphic novel. But nonetheless, man, it was, it's a fucking fantastic piece, dude. Like, if there was one movie you were going to start off with the DC movie... I would almost say don't watch that one because it's probably the best goddamn one you'll see. <laughs> um, no, that would be a good place to start, man. It was excellent. It was a really good movie. As is all the Batman movies. None of them I could, you know... Like like you said, Batman Year One, little Jim Gordon, still a damn solid movie. Uh, and it's kind of unfortunate, though, that their list... At, I think there's 18-something movies at this point, 20. Yeah, sounds about right. Somewhere around there. 19. Okay. 19, with two coming. And out of, so out of 21 coming, the majority of them are, are Superman or Batman, which is sad. I mean, Green Lantern's got a couple. You've got a couple of Justice Leagues, but they're really, you know, Batman and Superman are there. So mm-hmm. it would be nice to see them go I'm out I'm waiting for more. them to do the Kingdom Come animated feature. Yeah, Where the hell is that at? I don't feel like that's going to happen. Why I feel not? like because it sounds to me like that they are going to go more specifically New towards 52. New 52 stories. Mm. Like apparently, what can you really adapt in the new Fifty Two that would be interesting? Night of Owls, the Owl storyline. That's it. No, I wouldn't want to see that. That's the only thing. I, I swear, if they did that, I wouldn't buy it. They could do Throne it, of Atlantis, which they're doing, I think. Okay, well, yeah. There's oh, wait, no, Atlantis. no, they're not. That's not Throne of Atlantis. What is well, that? Let's just think. Yeah, there was Throne of what's Atlantis. That? That's what's coming out. Well, was, I don't know what's coming out next. No, there was something the hinted at the end. They're actually setting up like Marvel movies now. At the end yeah, of Justice yeah, League yeah. War, it was there was Throne of that Atlantis. Hint. Yeah. So that's not... Was that Thrones of Atlantis where they go to war with Atlanta? No, Atlanta. that was in Flashpoint Paradox. That would be some hilarious shit. Flashpoint Paradox was when they... Uh, if Atlanta... Because that was the last one that came out, wasn't it? Uh, no. No, just as the war. Because well, well, it's well, New 52 continuity. Okay. Then what the hell? I could have sworn... Oh, that's what it was. When I bought Flashpoint Paradox... They show the trailer for Justice League War... Well, but the, the end scene is to set up Throne of Atlantis. I remember... Because I remember seeing Ocean Master. War. It's at, that's at the end of War. That's at the end of War? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch War. What the fuck? I don't know, man. Unless I saw like a clip online. You must have saw a clip online because it's at the end it of War. Been. I could have sworn I was in Flashpoint. Yeah, no. No, it was not in Flashpoint. I'm sorry, so you were incorrect. Again. I'm over two. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Superman Unbound. Did not I was, watch it. I was excited to see this one because... Fucking if Jeff Johns, in my opinion, didn't just write the shit out of Brainiac. Like, taking the entire hit, like I was talking about earlier, or previous issues with him taking and, like, bringing in all the different elements from the history. He brings in all the elements of Brainiac, all the different uh, versions you've seen, and, like, explains why. And, mm-hmm. like, it was awesome graphic novel. Mm-hmm. Didn't really work for me as an animated feature. No, no. Like I said, I didn't see it. I didn't really care for the artwork style. He looked too. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. It just didn't look right. Okay. It was too weird. Their faces were too thin and too sharp. Their features. I just didn't like the animation style. Was bad. Okay. It was like an exaggerated anime almost. Ah. And I just. Just wasn't having it. It just wasn't for me, man. It's, and it and it didn't seem to. I honestly don't even think I if I watched it all the way through. Okay. I think it was one of those I started watching them to start reading comic books and then just had it just left the it on. Yeah. And shit. Okay. Um, but the graphic novel. This is one of those those occasions where I'm going to be like graphic novel far superior, far superior to to this. But so it which was, one was the what was, was the works? graphic novel for Superman and Bomb? Brainiac. Oh, okay. From Action okay. Comics. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Gotcha. For sure. Like the last, in my opinion, the most recent good Superman run. Jeff Johns, when he did the the last Son of Krypton with the Chris mm-hmm. Chris uh, Kent or whatever the hell they called himself, yeah, and then uh, they he did that that Legion story where Superman gets stuck in the future, yeah, that was good. Those I think it was three or four story arcs, really good, and then it led into uh, all that World of Krypton crap, which yeah, just ruined it again. But yeah, Superman Unbound, yeah, yeah. new people on the cast it didn't really it was all right. 
If you like Supergirl, there's some Supergirl in there. Okay. You know, probably not better than Doctor Strange. I, I probably would if I had to watch these two movies, I probably would watch Doctor Strange again. Okay. Because that Doctor was Strange wasn't bad. That was that was the probably the best Marvel movie they the did. The problem is like we were saying with the Marvel. This this is kind of comparing what we're doing is comparing this, the animated to the books. Yeah. Whereas Marvel doesn't have. Yeah, well, it doesn't. In it terms doesn't. of original stories, then yeah, well, yeah, Marvel still hits them out of the park. Well, I I, I didn't really care for any of them, but but Doctor Strange and and really? uh, Hulk versus. Oh, and I liked that X Men t- of tomorrow, the Avengers tomorrow, whatever it was called. Yeah, with the kids, cool. I thought yeah. that was you know that was decent. It was all right. It was a good movie for a kid to see. Yeah, but otherwise, mm, there's not really many other. I mean, even them Iron putting Man. Beta Ray Bill in fucking Planet Hulk didn't save it for me. Yeah, because I fucking it's like Beta Ray Bill. No, it still sucked. And I didn't like Iron Man at all. I thought Iron Man just fucking. I'm not down with the Mandarin as a villain for some reason. No. Some Chinese guy with magical rings. It's all right. Do it. It's done, right? It doesn't work they just, for me. They've been trying to change it. I think that's the problem that a lot of people have with Amanda now is lately he hasn't been that guy. It's been everything but that guy. It's yeah. been, you know, a ghost. It's been, you know, an organization like in Iron Man 3, which was just a fraud. And, right. You know, it's always something. Well, like it is now with the, where the, the rings are apparently sentient. Yeah. And they have hosts. Mm-hmm. You've been reading the current Marvel now incarnation of Iron Man, right? Right. That storyline's burning out for me, but yeah, it's. They, I really don't think. I really think all those Marvel fucking just sub fucking par, dude, sub par. I think they suck. They're terrible. I don't like any of them, except Doctor Strange and Hulk versus and Hulk versus. I don't like half of. Yeah. The Wolverine. The society. Wolverine half. Yeah. Yeah. The so, Thor stuff, while cool, was just still kind of boring to me. It was. Like, at that point, I lost interest. But, I mean, there were so many great, great moments in, in the fucking Wolverine side of it. Now, with the Wolverine side of it, do you think it, you would have liked it as much if they didn't have Deadpool in it? Because Deadpool was great comedy. I'm going to tell you right now. Even if you're already burnt out on I would have liked it just as much without Deadpool. Yeah. For me, dude, it was just like the brutal screaming at stuff. Yeah. That like was one of the my favorite things about it. Like he's fighting Lady Deathstrike and he's got a hold of her and she screams in his face and he's just like, ah! Yeah. Dude, that happens like a bazillion <laughs> times in that. And I, every time, dude, it fucking makes me laugh. Right. One of my favorite elements from that movie. But it was it was good, man. For just a mash of just stuff, it was. I liked it. Yeah. But like I said, Iron Man pff, Ultimates. The I'm first sure one was few, good. There's a few more. I just can't think. They did an Ultimates. They did do an That's Ultimates. Right. Now. That's uh, right. You know what? I've I sat here and all about those. forgot all about Ultimates. Thankfully, we were doing two parts. I forgot all about If this had been a one-part conversation, it would have been totally one-sided for DC. I just, I totally forgot We've about We've been it. devoting so much time to DC this past few weeks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, of Ultimates was good. It wasn't exactly on target with the book, but how could they do that? Yeah. I mean, you know, Hulk was doing everything. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. He was fucking off the, off the hook in that movie. Or in the comic, I mean. Yeah. Couldn't really do that in the movie. But they did touch all the other elements pretty well. I liked it. The second one I didn't really care for. All right, let's take these last few minutes here. Let me ask you. If you can adapt any... We'll we'll keep the numbers low. Three DC storylines to be in the animated features. Mm -hmm. What would they be? Wow. I would love... Love to see Red Sun. That was good. I would love to see Red Sun. Okay. I would love to see something based off of Alan Moore's run of Swamp Thing. Never happened. I know. Hey, hey, you said if yeah, I yeah, no, no, it. totally, totally. Because that was, I mean, Red Sun could happen. Yeah, Swamp Red Thing. Sun, yeah, no. that's out of left field. That's never going to happen. But I'd love to see it though. Um, and the third one, I honestly would dig seeing the current Wonder Woman arc okay. animated in that style of artwork. Yeah. That would be awesome. Much like how they did uh, Superman, Batman, Apocalypse, styled after um, Turner. Turner. Okay. I would love to see it styled after. Damn, so I now I gotta watch that. Cliff Chang. Cliff Chang. Yeah. That would be good. Those would be my three. What about Marvel? Marvel. If Marvel started just taking and doing the same formula, adapting instead of making original stories, what three storylines would you like to see? I would. Uh, and keep in mind, you can do it Dark Knight style, where you can have to. If it's so long, you have you can separate two parts. Yeah. I would do the and death. Count as one I would do the death of Spider Man s- superior. Like maybe start out with him dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? Uh, Last wish or whatever the storyline was. Yeah, dying wish. 
And so, obviously, you have to do a lot of build up for that, though, in the beginning of how it happened. Yeah. Or maybe not. In a backstory. I mean, fuck it. A little bit of backstory. I made this robot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, oh shit. I just, you know, when he gets nailed with it, give the whole backstory on it real quick. Maybe yeah. nothing like 30 seconds. And then let it do the whole thing. Okay. Or the best parts. Okay. You know, just build so you'd up like to being basically badass. see the current superior Spider-Man. Totally. I would okay. like to see the current superior Spider-Man. Okay. Then I would have to say... Uh, Included even with the whole uh, Spider-Man 2099 showing up and all that? Or do you think they should leave that out and just kind of focus That's something on. you could just leave out, yeah. Okay. That, that's something you can leave out. Because at this point, I don't even see where they're going with that in the comic. Right. Although I love that character. Other than I, he's stuck I, in the time stream. I don't really see where it's going. Quick off-subject, the whole not seeing where they're going. I think it was uh, Superior Spider-Man like 20 or 21. Uh-huh. Where Black Hat was on the cover and it was all over. They're like, "Oh, you cannot miss this issue. This sets up for the f- what happened with Black Hat." Yeah, I don't. I don't even remember. Unless they nothing because she saw uh, Superior. He got. He's like, "Oh, you," and kind of tossed her to the side. Yeah, totally. Her, treated her like shit, and that was it. Yeah, they never touched on. Okay, so unless she's gonna. Re, uh, That's gonna come back. She'll come back Peter, in the relaunch. Yeah, of amazing. And be like, "Why were you such a dick to me?" And then he'd have to explain it, and you know. That's so it. I would. I would totally have to do that. Okay. Uh, fanboy, I would do the introduction of Beta Ray Bill. Nice. Because I think that would be sweet. Nice. I, Beta Ray Bill's getting a lot of love for me lately. I've been searching out Beta Ray Bill books and reading old stuff. And okay. I don't know why. Um, man, I don't know. That's a damn good question. Okay. I'm trying to think of something like... I would want to say that Phoenix storyline. But I know you're going to say that. Which so one? I'm trying Phoenix? to think of something else. Yeah. Actually, I was not going to say that. But, uh... So if you want to say it, go for it, because I was not going to say that. I feel like there's something better to do there. I'm kind of sad that I had to lim- that I limited to just three. It's so hard. <laughs> just three is so difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Man Logan. Okay. Old Man Logan. Nice. It's my favorite Wolverine stories in the last ten years. Okay. Definitely Old Man Logan. Interesting. Interesting. You gotta give me that toy. <laughs> nice. I'll think about it. I gotta get mine first. I want a couple. I want to open one. Nice. He's not too uh, too expensive. No, that seems like thirty three five bucks. Um, so what would you what would you pick? DC. I would do a proper Death of Superman storyline. Definitely. Like a two parter. Yeah, you know, but well, like I well, said, because that video, middle storyline is just shit, really. Yeah. Funeral for a friend is shit. True, but all it does is bring in, like I said, it, the four. But it, it, it doesn't even really. Do you pick up the graphic novel? I got them. like the the individuals. I got, you yeah, can yeah. almost just pull that fucking out and throw it away. Yeah. Because it's really about how everyone feels in the fake alien Supergirl. Right. And then... Well, I mean, you can skip you know, for a so friend. You can dump a lot of it. Cut a lot of that out. You can you could even just mention it here. You know, one of those 30-second recaps or something, you know, in passing, have a narration over it with certain characters, right. like, drawn from the panels. And like, they could, the like, just shorten up the fights. That would make a great one. Yeah. So what's number two? Man, that's a good one. Actually, because, you know, like I said, I grew up a Marvel boy. So there's not a whole lot of DC storylines that really just like, oh, my God, this was awesome. You know what I'm saying? Um, Man, I would probably have to go... Okay, I said Death of Superman. The first arc of Jeff Johns' Teen Titans in, like, 2004, something like that. Right on. Dude, that was good, where they went up against Deathstroke. Mm -hmm. And uh, Deathstroke blew off Kid Flash's kneecap. That was good. That was really good. And then I'd probably have to go with Identity Crisis. Identity if you read that book one. and you didn't tear up at one point, man, you don't have a heart. You don't have no love for these characters. Identity Crisis was good. That's why I tried telling my old lady about that book. I'm like, babe, you got to read this book. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm like, it's not about superheroes and costumes. I'm like, it's about fucking the family, dude. Yeah. I'm like, this is a fucking deep book, dude. It's excellent. Yeah, that would make a good one. Mm-hmm. So Marvel. Marvel. See, Marvel. here's why I wish I had more than three. It's going to be like, Kong Sock, a 15-part DVD. <laughs> you know, fuck you, because I was going to see the Clone Saga. <laughs> no, man, you can do the Clone Saga. Like I said, saga. a lot of the uh, extra fat of the story, you can condense in those montage-looking right. scenes, you know? You can get a lot of it done. But I think the Clone Saga like, started off with Return of the Exile. Uh-huh. You know, have hi, like a narration. My name's Ben Riley. You know, you don't start with Peter. That's the thing. You start with Ben coming back. Backstory of why he's back to see Aunt May. As he's giving you the flashback, he's explaining 
excuse me, the original clone saga, mm-hmm. where the body was stumped in the smokehouse, you know, in the smokestack, you know, right. and then brings you to current day, and why he's there, and you do that one in a two-part, you know, he finds Peter, everything happens, Jack will return, the whole nine yards, you know, all the way until it's revealed the Goblin was responsible, like, do the whole thing, do it in two parts, each part could be 110 minutes, why the hell not, yeah, people totally. are going to buy it, yeah, regardless, they're going to watch it, you know, so I think Clone Saga, would, and anything I'd say has to be done the way it should be, two. try not to take a whole lot of liberties, uh, number two, see, I'm torn, because to me they're both X-Men related, but I'm torn between... Yeah, see, that stopped me, too, from trying to, like, I didn't want to double up on characters. See, okay, I, then I won't, I won't. I, I didn't won't. want to, like, throw Batman out because there's so many fucking Batman movies, but... Yeah, yeah. Man, um... Like Superman, I felt like there's so many bad Superman movies, Red Sun would, like, elevate that character. Oh, of course. Basically. Of course. it was such a great Superman line, but... Um, damn, so there's so many. Marvel. There's so many, and, you know, most of the best ones are the ones you kind of grew up reading, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, but with Marvel, I have to say, you can do it in one movie. You know, it'd be a little condensed, but it'd have to be in a longer movie. Uh, Legion Quest slash Age of Apocalypse. I think that'd be dope. You know, you start again with uh, with Legion explaining who his dad is and the backstory and why he's going to do what he's going to do. And, yeah, totally. They could set that up in a minute or so. You know, that could be like the first half hour is just Legion Quest. Then the next hour is all Age of Apocalypse. Then the last half hour is, you know, getting it back to where it's supposed to be. Um, damn. I think, man. I, I honestly, for a third one, man, because I want to, I want to say the onslaught saga, and I want to say it because it's an X Men thing, but at the same time, it spills over into the Marvel well, universe, kind of a Marvel which universe creates thing. the Heroes Reborn yeah, stuff. Totally. You know, but it would be an X Men thing. That would definitely have to be a two parter. You know, but I'm gonna pass on that. I'm not gonna mention that. So I think my third one would probably be Fatal Attractions. Why not hear Wolverine scream as that Adamantium is getting torn out of him? And you see Colossus defecting to the Acolytes, you know, because Ileana died. Why not? Totally. You know, and then... Uh, I can dig it. Those are all great ideas. <laughs> I wrote that. See, look at that. <laughs> it doesn't take much. It They're doesn't. just sitting on money to make money. You could split You know, them. exactly. Just make the quality animation... Find a good cast for your fucking characters and stick with them. I'll gladly voice a character if you totally if you think I even sound like Meryl. I'll voice Meryl I'll or do, something. I can do voices. Oh, yeah. Call a nigger. We cook it up. Yeah. I can be Jackal or something. I don't know. I can be Ben Riley. Hell, I'll even totally. do Aunt May. You know, whatever. Right. I don't care. I have indeed been. No one can stop the blob. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to do stuff like that. I'd rather stay away from origin stories because we've seen them so many times. Totally. You know. So yeah, I think those would be the three. Real quick in closing here, I just want to know the two we missed. Flashpoint paradox. We really talked heavily about war. That Flashpoint was, was good. Flashpoint was was good. I like it. It was good. And then you you know you got. I didn't uh, like the artwork a little on on some of the characters. Like Aquaman looked extremely swole. You you did get. Uh, oh damn! Who voiced? Didn't uh, Conway voice the Flashpoint Batman? I don't remember. Or did he voice regular Batman? I can't remember. I, I don't know, remember. And apparently no one knows that. I think it was the Conroy Batman at the end. And then coming up, we've got two more Batman movies in the future. Yeah. See, look at that. We threw out lists and there were no Batman movies on them. Because we've had enough. Six movies. And, th- and only one of them was like, well, I guess I did throw Superman out. Wonder Woman needs some more fucking movies, dude. If I had to throw out a Batman movie, it would be uh, Nightfall. The Nightfall Night Quest storyline. I would love to see, like, Rip minus the Final Crisis elements. And then Bale for the Cowl. Mm-hmm. And then maybe a year one Batman and Robin with Dick and... and that would be good. I mean, because they are doing Batman and Son. Yeah. So it could happen. One? Assault on Arkham, which is actually going to be based off of the, comp, the, the, uh, the video games. See, I'm not a big game. I'm not a gamer anymore. Uh, great games. I'm actually I currently playing one. Origins. I played the first one. I beat it, and that was it. I never... Arkham like City said, was gamer, awesome, dude. So it's not Arkham City is awesome. Oh, I'm just, totally a gamer. When you leave, I'm either going to pick up my DS and play fucking Pokemon or Zelda. See, I have no time. Or I'm going to fucking play South Park. I, I wish. The last South Park game was the one for 64. That's the last one. I have yeah. that one. Oh my god, the new one's vile, dude. It's I just, vile. I don't, I don't have Spoiler time. alert. I was I just wish. walking around the town when I first started the game. I opened three doors and saw three things that I fucking never imagined I was going to see in the call of South Park. One of them, first one's really not that offensive. It was a naked woman. Not that bad. Full Second frontal? one, full frontal. 
I open the, the front door to the house, and the woman was standing there, dude. She's like, ah, runs up, slams the door on my face. Second one, open the door. Dude sitting on his couch watching porn, jacking off under a blanket. Nice. Runs up, slams the door. Third time I did it, it was a dude fucking horse. <laughs> Only in the South Park game, ladies and gentlemen. Only in video games. No, I'm kidding. Don't, don't. Don't. <laughs> attacking me. You hate video games. Not all games right. are like that. That's why you took away Pepperell's point. <laughs> you hate games. And that's issue 37, folks. As we finished up our discussion of animated features and threw in some extras we'd like to see there. Mm-hmm. Uh, as always, you can get everything we do at comicsremix.com, the hub. That's it. For all. We'll see you guys next week. I'm Junior. He's Brian. We're out. Peace. Peace.